Alright, Marine, so... First build is out. Alright, so starting off with the rifle. The Astra. My new favorite, I think it takes the throne over the Assault Kramer, for me, personally. So, I was using Recoil Booster. I did try Slanted Break, they both work, they're perfectly fine. This gun doesn't need that much stability. Um, it's doable without that, if you've got um, the control over your stick or your mouse. Uh, the only problem this weapon has is a sick-ass reload time. So that's why I went with drop mag, because it gives you the reload speed, yes, but the magazine capacity helps out a lot. Like, you can just have enough ammo to kill enough trash and then reload, and the reload is pretty, pretty quick compared to, look at this. Alright, compare this to this. I think almost half the time, but it's it's really nice. Um, hybrid sight for me on this one, there is isn't any other attachment that complements it that much compared to hybrid sight for the accuracy weak point. Um, next up is you guys know w what it is about, so it's the EDS 93 Zadak plasma discharger. Um, I tried three different combinations for this build. I tried down and out, I tried cooldown on the mini nades, and then um, I tried, uh, what's it called, the tanker muzzle brake, or not, the counterbalance basically, the fire rate route. But the problem is, with this weapon, is even how, like, it doesn't even matter how fast you click, it's, it starts going into the charge up animation, and then there's like, a stupid cap on the fire rate on this weapon. So, look at me when I overclock. You see how it bugs out between fire or like between shots? But, anyways, so anti material break. I tried counterbalance, it works. So, your second option is counterbalance, your third option is tanker muzzle. Um. You can definitely go flywheel chamber, feels amazing. Like, I did that and I got pretty, pretty good damage. I got pretty good damage with this build, so I think both of them work. So, go with either flared breach or flywheel chamber. Don't worry about it. I have did so many insane solo runs today. Try to push myself again and again and see how far I can go. Um, and what the build is doing for you, or for me in this case. Alright, so I did try green dot side, but I think the extra accuracy on this. Now, the point of this build is basically with this shotgun. You see how big the spread is? Um, so you gotta charge up to make the spread tighter. And you know how fast the action is in this game, right? So instead of charging up like the pump shotgun, you just you have the accuracy whatever you have and that's it you can't make it even like um, more tighter right so what you're gonna be doing is you don't have to make it tighter unless the target is like far away and you got the time then you can get it pretty accurate shoot it from far away like I did for the blights at the end um, on the other hand if things are close like runners and shit 7 out of 10 you can one tap and why I'll let you know in a bit so accuracy weak point because we don't have that pleasure or that leisure of um, what's it called the comfort of uh, charging your shots um, when there's like so much action going around um, finally for the build so starting off from overclock we are going with quick load interlink please whoever's watching this don't ever skip on this particular perk it instantly reloads your magazine so you don't waste any time during when overclock is on and you just can directly go into blowing shit up stopwatch because um definitely helps out with your rifle because i'm not taking any rifle perks here but definitely buffs your rifle definitely bu bu buffs your cqw so overwhelming fire now the thing is Focus fire, yes, you get 10% extra damage. The team gets extra 10% damage on the same target, the one you're shooting at. But overwhelming fire, 
the stun is guaranteed. Especially on CQWs, the stun is freaking guaranteed. Right? So you're getting the stun, and this effect may only occur against the same target once every 30 seconds. However, anti-material break. 25% chance to knock down targets on hit. And effects on, uh, this effect only occurs against the same target every 10 seconds. So during those 30 seconds when oral vemming fire is on cooldown, you still got 20 seconds to proc anti-material break two times and like let me tell you about the nades first so obviously disorienting blast just adds the cc for the elites for the um, specials green dots blue um, orange dots mini nades definitely a very very good perk out um from uh what's it called the uh, expansion dlc amazing perk i would say not it's it's a side grade i wouldn't say it's an upgrade from the normal nade it's a side grade but it's very fun it adds variety to the game so now basically you've got so many chances even if you fuck up you miss your first nade you have a second one you have a third one and just like a couple of seconds and then you have another nade ready um back up and ready to use so um shrapnel instead of putting a lot of cooldowns damage modifiers, radius, half shrapnel, anything affected will bleed, it will take a lot of damage and most of the times you will see runners that didn't take the full blast um, are like 1 HP or like you know so to speak 1 HP and then they'll be dying in like a couple of seconds so it definitely helps out with the runners however with specials or elites it does put up a lot of um, what's it called uh, the, the passive DOT um, damage on them so we've got anti-material break that knockdown, we've got overwhelming fire for the stun, we've got the mini nade for the knockdown. Down and out buddy, down and out boys. You deal 20% more damage to enemies that are stunned or knocked. So this is just like a no-brainer in this build. Um, finally for the CQW, for, for the shotgun just keep in mind. Uh, plasma or the particle shotgun or the plasma shotgun that you're using that doesn't need a lot of reload speed um, uh, the stopwatch and uh, yeah the stopwatch basically can give you enough reload speed and you've got reload speed from the tech CQW training so fire rate accuracy fire rate stability and range and weak point like I said you have enough weak point to um, not make the spread tighter and still one tap the runners so that is the build um, and the gameplay for you guys to check out the build in action let me know what you guys think in the comments down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much guys um, peace